Hi folks, continuing on with our review, we're going to look at uh, ionic compounds that contain multivalent metals. Okay, so let's start with one where we have the name and we want to determine the uh, chemical formula. Okay, so the fact that I see a Roman numeral in brackets tells me that I'm dealing with a multivalent metal. Okay, and in fact, let's just take a quick look at nickel here. Okay, and we see that nickel can take on a charge of plus two or plus three. Okay, so in this case here, because it specifically tells me that it's nickel three, I know automatically, I didn't even need to check the periodic table, that the, uh, that the charge that we're working with is plus three. Okay, now secondly, we've got chloride, so again, IDE, okay, telling me that it's not a uh, polyatomic ion. So let's go back to our table of uh, to our periodic table. Okay, and we see here that chlorine's ion chloride has a charge of minus one. Okay, so notice here I'm doing exactly what I did earlier when I had a binary compound. Okay, so now in order to know how many of each element I need. I need to balance out the charges. So here, this has a charge of plus three, minus one. So I can see that I'm gonna need three chlorides to get to a charge of minus three to offset the charge of plus three, okay? Now, one thing you'll notice is that when I write the chemical formula, I am not including uh, which particular uh, charge of nickel we're working with. Okay, so while we see it explicitly in the name, we don't see it in the formula. So we've got nickel, and we only need one of those, already has a charge of plus three, okay, but we need three chlorides. Okay, so again, just to repeat, this tells us we have a multivalent met metal, tells us what the charge has to be, okay. And here, chloride indicates that we're working with the chlorine ion, and we balanced out to get a neutral particle. Okay, let's go now to the example where we're given the formula, and we want to find the name. So, first of all, RH, not something we've worked with very often, so or perhaps at all at this point. So we go to our periodic table, and we find RH, ah, there it is, it's rhodium, and it is, in fact, a multivalent metal, okay? So it can have a plus three charge or a plus four charge. So let's indicate that here, okay? It's either plus three or plus four, okay? So this is the type of work you could show on a test to show your strategy and your thinking, okay? I notice, though, that my second component is not made up of just one uh, atom. Okay, so this indicates to me that this is going to be one of our polyatomic ions, and it is one that we've seen, but let's check to see. Okay, so you'll be getting one of these for your uh, evaluations. Okay, and we look here and we see that SO3 is the sulfite ion, and it has a charge of minus two. Okay, so what I might do here is indicate the name, so I don't have to look it up again. So SO3 is sulfite. Notice, not IDE. So again, telling me that this is a polyatomic ion. Okay. And it has a charge of minus two. But here, this two outside of the bracket tells me that I've got two of these polyatomic ions. That means that the total charge, okay, I must find by multiplying this negative two by two, since there's two of these ions. So my total charge is minus four, okay? So from my anion, the total charge is minus four. I only have one rhodium ion, so in order to balance things out, I'm gonna have to use rhodium four, okay? And from there, I can now write the name. So it's rhodium, Okay, and in the name, when I'm using a multivalent metal, I have to indicate with my Roman numerals that I'm working with rhodium-4, 
OK, and then I've got my anion, which is just sulfite. OK, and sorry, I keep making that mistake of using pH. That should have been an F there, so I'm not going to rewrite it. There we go. We've got sulfite. OK, so here we have to check our, t our uh, periodic table to realize that rhodium is a multivalent metal. OK, and hopefully you start to recognize what your... Uh, polyatomic ions are looking like. Okay, so that's it for these.